In this video, we're gonna grab an animation from Mixamo and add a face mesh to it. We'll start off over here at mixamo.com to grab a character. I'll just log in. The way Mixamo works is you have different characters that you can choose from. And then once you've chosen a character, you've got the animations that you can apply to them. So jump back over to characters. I will choose a character. I've already chosen I've already chosen a character here. This is this one over here called Crypto. Um, one thing to keep in mind with these Mixmo characters is that the textures that will be downloaded with them will be way too big to use within Spark. For most of them, that is at least. Uh, you, you just won't be able to send them out or, or um, submit the project. So you need to choose a, a character that looks like it would go okay with the, the um, material stripped off or just really simplified. So something like this um, would work quite well. Then after we've chosen our character, we jump across to animations. I am just going to choose one of these simple ones, Samba Dancing, sounds alright. Yep, that looks good for what I want. So we just come up here and then download. Uh, I want to make sure that the format is set to FBX and with the skin. And then we just download that. Into Spark now, I'm going to import that character. So just down here, import from computer. Go into the folder. And so that was there. It downloaded there, sambadancing.fbx. I'll just bring that in. Take a little minute to come in, because it has to bring all those textures in. If I just drag that up, drop it in here, you'll be able to see it. They, they come in way too big, but that's all right. I can just scale him down a bit, grab the scale tool. That's about right, just position him down. That looks about right. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck in a background that I've already made. So I'm just going to add asset from computer background.fbx. I will provide this as a download if you want to follow along with it. I'm going to drag that up here as well. Uh, position that down. It's just a simple sort of white site that he can uh, live within. I'll just leave the material as that just for now. But. So this Samba uh, Dancing FBX has downloaded with an animation track. So if I click on the Samba Dancing and then come over to animation and create new animation controller, you can see that. But I'm just going to turn that off just for now while I put the face in there. Just make that a bit bigger. Zoom in. And then go add object. Face mesh, insert, and then click on the face tracker. Well, we've got that here, and then just click texture extraction. And then on the face mesh, I want to go new material, new material. I'm going to just rename that over here face. I'm just going to pause that it's using the video. I'm just going to pause that and stop that moving. And I want to, I want the texture on that to be blended and I want the texture to be the face tracker texture and let's bring back his eyes. So we click on the face mesh and then untick the eyes just so he's got them there. And now what I will need to do is a lot of twirling down. So I'm just going to bring this across. So within my Samba dancing. I need a twirl down, you can see the skeleton. This is the actual model here, and then these are all the bones that are um, controlling it, the, ho the whole rig here, the Mixamo rig. So you can see the spine, left leg, right leg. So we wanna follow its spine, and we just need to keep untwirling this until we get down to the neck. So there's left shoulder, right shoulder, but neck, and then keep twirling. And then we've reached the head then the head top, but I'm just going to drag that mesh, the face mesh, onto the head. There it 
it is there. And now we just need to position that so that it roughly works. So it's just going to be a little bit of just moving it back and forth. It roughly works. So come around. You will get a little bit of clipping. So it, 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 this is just a sort of quick and dodgy way of doing this. Ideally, you would you would sort of set this up properly, but um, this is the way we do it for now. How far? There we. So yeah, you can see it's going to, have to sit out a fair bit, but that's alright. Okay, now that we've got that there. So that face mesh is a child of the of the skeleton. So now it all should work with it. If we just click back on our Samba dancing and then put our animation back on. And then press play on the video. There we go. And that is the very basics of bringing in a Mixamo rig and then very quickly adding in a face, a face tracker. I'll just do a couple more other things while I'm here. I'll just click on my background material, which is just completely standard. Just put a little bit of specular in it. Okay, so these Mixamo models are generally a bit too big just to send straight out to the uh, Spark AR hub or to your device. So you will need to either uh, delete some of the materials or change them or just change the compression on them, which is what I'll do here now. So I'm just going to pause old mate. I'm going to select all my textures and I am going to, in their compressions, I'm just going to choose PNG for their compressions. And that should get them down just to be big enough to be able to send it out. And then we can check that by just going File, uh, Upload to Spark AI Hub. Yes, file size meets all requirements. Okay, I'll send that out to my device and we'll have a look at it. Hello, yep, there I am. Very dodgy, but it works. Good times, thanks for watching.